hello guys welcome back to the channel the hairy cam inch thank you so much for joining us on today's video if you're not yet part of the hairy cam gang please make sure to click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos so guys i have been in this twist for like two weeks so this is wash day like my thumbnail said so first what i'm gonna do is to take down those twists so make sure that when you're taking down your twists you start from the ends and go straight to the roots because if you want to start at the roots you might as well um break your hair and your hair will snap so yeah guys i'm gonna take down the twists up until to the other side to finish up my whole hair so guys i am almost done i'm just halfway through so i'm still taking down my twist it was quite a long process simply because i needed to make sure that my ends don't break like to the joe's male breakage i have to be gentle with my hair and not force the twist to come out so make sure you don't do that to your hair you don't apply unnecessary tension you make sure that your hair breaks as little as possible possible so i'm done guys so as you can see my twists are unraveled and i'm completely done with my whole head so i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair into two sections and i'm gonna go in with more sections this is because my hair is 4c 4b so working in sections it's what we do right here on this channel to take care of of our hair so if you are maybe 2a or even type 3 hair you can work in a more bigger sections but as for this channel for this type 4 hair guys we work with smaller smaller sections so i'm gonna go ahead with the um, water simply because my hair is very dry and i also don't want to apply other more products because my hair has already um, been filled with so many products throughout the moisturizing process while I was having the twist. So I did not go in with a pre pooing um, product such as um, a conditioner or any kind of pre pooing substance such as um, I think um okra gel or any kind of product that will help me pre-pull my hair it can be oils as well but i didn't do that simply because my hair um, had a lot of product in it so i decided to just pre-pull with just water and you can already see that there is product on my hair already so that's what i'm gonna do on the rest of my hair so it is very important that you pre-pull your hair before you go ahead to shampoo your hair as preparation to prevent your hair from um higral fatigue and also this instant stretch and this instant um shrinkage i mean to say not stretch um on your hair that can cause damage to your hair so it is important to pre-pull your hair right before you go and wash so guys i've washed my hair so um i've washed off the product not shampooed my hair already don't mistake that um for shampooing i've just rinsed out the product first before i just go in with the shampoo so right now we are going in with the shampooing process and please do not forget to work in sections working in sections is our main priority here to prevent breakage so i'm gonna use Mila natural um shampoo which i won from an instagram giveaway so this is my first time using this shampoo so i will let you know guys about my experience about this shampoo as i go on throughout the video so i just went in with some water just to make sure that my hair is wet enough in order to work in the shampoo so when going in with the shampoo the important thing about sh the shampooing process is that you need to work on your roots simply because your hair actually gets dirty um more in the roots especially the scalp this is what we want to um place the focus on when we are shampooing our hair make sure you shampoo your scalp a lot because we want to make sure that all the oils that you've been using or the products that you've been using does not clog um the hair pores i don't think a uh, hair pore the scalp open <laughs> i'm sorry guys i mean the scalp openings you need to make sure that um the holes on your scalp 
I don't know if they're called the hair follicles or what, but whatever that is, yeah, you need to make sure that your scalp is clean in order to receive new hair products and prevent clogging so that the growth may, may must be better. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm making so many mistakes. <laughs> I think I've been talking for so long. I'm not used to that, but we're going to get used to it. So, yeah, guys, I just went in with the shampoo. So simply because I have a whole lot of product buildup, I decided to work the shampoo as well on my hair shaft. So that's why you can see my hair is fully coated with the shampoo. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video and you can see me doing the same process all over my head. just doing the last part of my hair so the review about this shampoo is that it's not um, that good for my hair shaft but it's good for my scalp my scalp really felt clean and relieved like i've never seen my scalp that clean before it was so clean but my hair shaft was so heavy it was heavier than it was before even shampooing. After shampooing, I normally want my hair to feel lighter. But with this shampoo, it felt very, very heavy. So I had to go in with another shampoo to cleanse. I don't know whatever thing that it left on my hair that made it heavy. But after using another shampoo, my hair felt lighter. So the shampoo that I used is the one that I used on one of my videos that I filmed um, on how to shampoo your hair. So you can check that out. I'll link it down on the description so you can check it out. Or I'll link it up here on the screen um, whenever I, I get time to do so. So yeah, guys, I just went in with water. This is the deep conditioning process. And what I'll be using is the coconut cream restorative conditioner. This is a deep conditioner. This is an amazing deep conditioner. I love it. I don't want to lie to you. I recommend this. It's not a sponsored video, but this is the best deep conditioner that I love for most for adding moisture. It moisturizes my hair. My hair feels soft. My hair feels bouncy. And what I love the most about this deep conditioner is that it has got a lot of slip. So if I decide not to detangle my hair during the pre pooing process, I can detangle my hair in the deep conditioning process because I know that this deep conditioner is very slippery. And whenever I comb my hair, my hair, my, my comb just glides through my hair. So make sure that you go in with a white tooth comb if you have one. If you don't, you can get one in a Chinese shops or you can get it from Take A Lot and even at Clicks. So it's not that expensive you can try to save a little bit and you can get one for yourself so you can go in with that comb i love it because it takes out the huge knots that can cause breakage so it takes out those knots very easily without breaking my hair and it takes out every shed hair shed hair is the hair that we normally use we normally lose naturally so don't be scared it's not breakage in one of these days i'm gonna make sure i show you guys the difference between shed hair and breakage shed hair is normal there's nothing wrong about it but breakage is very very un um what did i want to say it's very very not good okay it's not good it's not a good thing so make sure that you don't get breakage, but you make sure to remove all the shed hair. So I went in with my easy detangler to remove more shed hair because the easy detangler helps my hair to be even softer and also work in the deep conditioner. So that's what I'll be doing in each and every section. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video.
deep conditioning process and what i want to remind you guys is that please make sure you don't skip this process and don't mistake it also for the regular conditioning process deep conditioning and normal conditioning is different deep conditioning adds more moisture compared to the normal conditioner so make sure you use a deep conditioner on your wash days not a regular conditioner you can use it for your, your pre-poo instead so now i'm going in with an oil from misha naturals as well i also want it from an instagram giveaway so you can follow her on instagram it's called misha naturals so if you want to buy this hair product so yeah you must also massage your scalp don't forget that is very important so for our heating process and or deep conditioning with heat i'm gonna go in with a plastic cap if you have a heating cap or a hooded dryer you can go ahead and use that so i'm gonna use this plastic cap and put on my bonnet so i'm gonna leave this deep conditioner overnight this process of leaving the deep conditioner has been working for me when i use it overnight so yeah guys this is the following day and i have rinsed out the deep conditioner so my hair looks even way shorter <laughs> shrinkage guys yeah so yeah it's shrunken so it's very soft that deep conditioner does it for me my hair is extremely soft i know it's not visible but it is extremely soft so i'm just gonna take down those twists and i'm gonna make sure that i take down it very very gently i know the video is very quick but i am surely gentle with my hair and now my hair is in sections so i have my glasses on because it's kind of misty in my room so yeah guys i'm just squeezing a little bit of water that has been left inside the hair because i just washed my hair with very very hot water so yeah i'm gonna go in now with the natural fusions living conditioner by Pelmas. i love this living conditioner because it's very very um softening so i love it i'm just gonna go in with it because i don't want to use water i just want hydration guys not from water specifically but this conditioner is water based so i have both water and some chemicals to um moisturize my hair so i'm also gonna go in with the miracle moisture um, by african pride um leave-in cream that's the consistency i love this leave-in cream it moisturizes my hair for days so i love it and also i'm gonna go in with the um, curling cream this is moisturizing guys and the sleep oh my god i love the sleep i love the sleep in this product if i want i can detangle in this process so i love them and also i'm gonna go in with the um, dark and lovely um hair butter it's a moisturizing butter i love this butter it's not heavy on my hair and it's moisturizing as well so it adds more moisture on my hair and that's the goal for every wash day so i'm also gonna go in with the oil at the end so right now i'm just gonna apply the hair product so for the oil i'll be applying it on my roots or over my head so yeah and also i'm gonna use it on my edges as well so i massage my scalp every time so right now i'm just going in with the hair products one by one in the row that i've, I've shown you so yeah guys we are almost done so if you're new to this channel please 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 give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if it was helpful to you please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also if you have anything you want to ask or anything you want to add or you've got any other thing that's going to be helpful to the gang in this channel please make sure to comment down on the comment section and also do not forget to hit that red button if that red button is still red you have not done good so please do do the good thing and hit that red button which is the subscribe button and also hit that bell next to it on your right so please make sure to hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos so i hope that this video is very helpful and i hope to see you again on my next video so guys i went on and put my hair in twist so i'm going to show you on the video that it's coming right 
so guys if you want to know how i did this twist so make sure to watch our next video so this is it until next time guys i'll catch you on my next video